The long awaited vaccine QR code is now available to Albertans, but there's a catch. You'll have to wait a few more weeks for it to actually work. The Alberta government released its new QR code vaccine verification Friday. This comes as the old paper system is easy to cheat, allowing anyone to quickly forge the document. The current vaccination card is uh, very easy to, to edit, so we need to see uh, a more verifiable type of vaccination card, QR code, something like that sooner rather than later. While the government works out the kinks in the QR code, the original vaccine record will feature a watermark, which makes it more difficult to tamper with. Here's the thing is that this whole system, it works on the honor system. And yeah, you can put different mechanisms in place to essentially add layers of friction to make it even more difficult to uh, to forge a document. It doesn't mean documents won't be won't be forged. Alberta Health admits it's easy for anyone to edit the vaccine passport, even with a watermark, but says forgery can result in jail time and up to one hundred thousand dollars in fines for a first time offense. The benefit of having these quick response codes with some sort of verification mechanism um, is it essentially tries to eliminate these types of actions from happening in the first place. We're used to using this type of technology. It's also easy for businesses to verify. The QR code cannot be scanned until the government's verifier app is launched in the coming weeks. Once it's released, no personal information will be stored on the app. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.